Samantala mga kaibigan, uh, halos uh, handa na po lahat para sa pag-uumpisa ng unang uh, salpukan ng Barangay Hinebra at ng Santa Lucia Realty para sa kanilang uh, Best of Three Series dito po sa quarter final round. Ang uh, mananalo po dito sa serye ito, papasok sa semifinals at ang kanilang makakalaban ay ang nag-aantay na Red Bull Barako. Yun po ang magiging uh, matchup niyan. Yun ang mga uh, labanan ng uh, Magnolia at ng Coca-Cola na kung saan nagwagi kanilang Magnolia. Ang kanilang mga makakatunguli pagdating sa semis ay... Uh, Walang iba kung hindi ang Air 21 Express yung po ang nanguna after the elimination round. Ang pinakikilala na ang starting unit para sa barangay Ginebra. At saltukan sa ere ang uh, kanilang uh, pakita bago po uh, pumunta yung mga starting unit sa loob ng uh, court. Itala si Chris Alexander at si Jim T. Valenzuela may pinag-uusapan. Yan naman ang coach ng Baraga Hinebra. Of course, coach Joey Chico. Ito pinakikilala naman ang uh, mga taga Santa Lucia. Real J. Okay, buo na rin yan. Of course, ang kanilang uh, coach. Malaki ba ang kundi si uh, coach Boyan Fernandez. And then, uh, you look at the starting units, one major difference para sa Barangay Hinebra, Chris Pacana will be starting for the Jim yeah. Kings. Because uh, if you remember, in the last game of Barangay Hinebra, ito si Ronald Tubit na injured. So he is not in the, he's not with the team right now. Isang nga kakulangan niya para sa Barangay Hinebra. Pero kung maalala ninyo, di sa larong yun, first quarter pa lang yata, na-injure na si Tubit na eh. Pero nanaano siya na ng Barangay Hinebra. So, uh, iba talaga ang pinikilos uh, dito ng Barangay Hinebra. Pero, sabi nga natin, itong Santa Lucia Realty ay uh, hindi po natin pwede matawaran. At kay Hanitos, Bitoy Amolong gets it back off the miss by Lee Benson. Nagkahanap na papas sa amin kay Benson. Four seconds on the shot clock. Benson attacks. Drop pass. Yay! Bitoy Amolong scores with a foul. That's one of the guys that you have to locate underneath the basket because right. Bitoy Obolon. Actually, it's the second time he got the pass down there. And he really finishes well underneath the basket. Bakit? That he's able to finish with both the right hand and the left hand. And uh, athletic to si Bitoy Obolon. Very agile. Ano, ah. Kung baga, parang lastic man ito eh. Dahil uh, pabali-bali ang katawan eh. And here, the uh, full court press by Santa Lucia finds Billy Mabarini open for the short jumper and the first two points para sa Barangay Hinebra. So even without Ronald Tubit, with Chris Pacana on the court para sa Jim Kings, but the present of Santa Lucia, itong Barangay Hinebra now has two ball handlers in the fold. Maganda rito ito, Lee Benson marunong pumasa, no? Uh, malaki siya at uh, bubuyog sa kanya yung uh, defensa. In other words, nakikita niya kung sino ang uh, libre. So, Mandala on the rebound play. There's going to be a foul. So, J.J. Helterbrand na tinawagan ng uh, kanyang unang personal foul. Uh, they talk about energy crisis, pero dito sa larong ito, from the guard Ay, position, nako, wala. walang energy crisis dito. Guys like Ryan Reyes, J.J. Helterbrand, Mark Kagiwa, These guys all spit fires for their team. Ito si Chris Pacana, kinugulit-kulit si Denok Miranda. Miranda, binigay kay Lee Benson from the outside. Malakas ang tira, J.J. Helterbrand para sa rebound. Helterbrand into the front court. Sumo-set up ng defensa ang Santa Lucia. Helterbrand goes up, pasa pala yun. Binalik-ulit kay Helterbrand. Three-point shot, good line, pero hindi pumasok ang tira. Ang balong saves it at the sideline, according to Ryan Reyes. Off now to Denok Miranda. Miranda, bibigyan ng instruction sa kanyang mga kasama, Kelly Williams. Bitoy umulan against Jinti Valenzuela. Tinapik ni Jinti Valenzuela ang ball. Matik na agaw. Napitawan. Nakuha ni Pacana. Ano ito? May timeout mo tinawag. So they're gonna say Chris Pacana asked for a timeout. Pumito yung referee. Ah, 
uh, inadvertent whistle. Well, the, ang basa kasi nung referee to, nung uh, nahulog si Chris Pacana, he was trying to call for a timeout, but uh, uh, eh, si Pacana, na, nakita niya, meron palang pa, pwedeng pasahan. Okay, so it will stay with Barangay Hinebra. 3-2 ang ating score. Labang ng isa, Santa Lucia. Junti Valenzuela against uh, Delok Miranda. At uh, tatawagan ng foul si Miranda as he stuck too close to Junti Valenzuela holding foul is called. Alam mo, kanina doon sa laban ng uh, Magnolia at uh, Coca-Cola, nakita natin na uh, talagang uh, very intense, ano ha? And uh, here, <laughs> napapansin natin na uh, tilagalin din ang uh, sitwasyon. Siyempre, eh, for all the marbles mga ito eh. Oh, team to have started, ever since we're all sipak yung kay Diaz, eh, marami na, <laughs> marami na i-inspire. <laughs> Ganun ba? <laughs> Dapat positibo. Chris Alexander against Lee Benzo de Ramos de Pacana. Pacana. Sinalubong. Open to J.J. Hildebrand. And somebody fouled someone. Tumalsin si Lee Benzo. Ano yun? I think uh, Ed, yung bola went over the backboard. Ah, okay. And uh, they're oh, gonna... Turn over yun. Yes, they're gonna call that play dead. Nine and a half minutes to go. First quarter. Miranda, Williams, Ryan Reyes looking inside, Dinabas ke Miranda, Kelly Williams, Laba ke Billy Mamaril, two seconds on the shot, Uy, pasok, Kelly ke Kelly Williams. Well, that wasn't an easy shot para ke Kelly Williams, Billy Mamaril was in front of him, but if you look at that Barangay Ginebra uh, bench, not really one person with the athletic ability and the size to match up with Kelly Williams. Chris Alexander. A fake take pa siya pero natapigan. Here comes Vitoy Omolon against Junti Valenzuela. And there's going to be a foul called on Junti. Ang ating mga mga referees, Tronji Abdaba, Peter Balao, Maui Maurillo. Lumalabas si Delok Miranda. Here's Benson against Alexander. Benson drives through. At may foul pa nakuha by Chris Alexander. These two guys, no, not strangers with one another. Uh -huh. Heard reports na itong dalawa na to, magkaibigan talaga. Magbarkada. Uh, magbarkada. Pero uh -huh. eh, wala mo nang barkada-barkada. Ah, siyempre. Trabaho na ito. <laughs> But apparently, Lee Benson wants to stay longer. Well, that's what they're saying, and uh, sabi nga natin, you know, for Santa Lucia's sake, we hope that uh, he keeps his word. Para to si Billy Mamarella. Inside. Oh, yes! Nice guy hit there by Billy Mamarella. Well, that was a bonus point coming from Billy Mamarella. Trying to attack Kelly Williams. Maybe he'll draw a foul, or maybe he can get two points. He got the latter. Well, he's got all the four points of Barangay Hinebra so far. Benson steps back. Voila. Pacana for the rebound. Off to Helterbrand. Helterbrand in the front court. To the Lubin then up there on the cross court. To Junti Valenzuela for three. Ayo pa pumasok yung mga long range bombs ng Barangay Hinebra. Here's Kevin Williams. Goes up to the back shot. Medyo bababa yung tira. Junti Valenzuela. Chris Pacana. Down low to Chris Alexander. Alexander, get a basket, JJ Helterbrand to Billy Mamaril. To Billy Mamaril, what's it, Billy? Almost, not quite. As you really notice, yung pagkawalaan nito si Ronald Dubin with the fluidity yeah. of the offense of the Jim Kings. Itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, maganda yung rotation nila eh. Yan ang masakit pag nagkakaroon ka ng injury sa yung team. That's right. Itong mga bagay na nais mo maibasan, pero kumisa talaga, wala ka mga kawa eh. Nangyayari talaga yun eh. Another miss by Billy Mamarin and Kelly Williams with the rebound. Here comes Derek Miranda sprinting into the shaded area and converting on a floater. It is now a five-point lead para sa Santa Lucia 9-4. Ang ating score. Chris Pacana, dinito kita ni Ryan Reyes, Chris Alexander. Big na pinasa. Hindi akalain ni Billy Mamarin. Akala niya tira yun. Billy Mamarin has gotten the ball almost every right. possession of right. the Dito's and Jim King. And the lead pass inside to Lee Benson. Outside for Barakay. He never Benson claiming 
as somebody threw him an elbow. Masyado rin naman masigip, masigip yung pass eh. It was a tough pass, but uh, iniisip doon ni Deno kay pagkakataon, wala pa hindi pa nakaposition si Alexander. Karong lagkit ng defensa nito sa Santa Lucia Realty. Ganun pa man, tatawagan ng foul si Ryan Reyes as he tried to harass Chris Patara. Nakakadalawang uh, team foul ng Santa Lucia, apat ang uh, Hinebra. Uh, so far, this game going really in the favor of Santa Lucia. Almost six minutes gone by. At itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, apat na puntos pa lang ang nalalagay sa ating board. Lahat siya, galit kay Billy Mamaril. Ayun na naman siya. Nabitama ng bola. And here comes Ryan Reyes. Down the middle, binigay kay Kelly Williams. So he went to Chris Alexander. And he's going to draw the foul from Alexander. Ay, no, may do na yan. That's the second personal foul on Chris Alexander. At hindi magandang balita yan. Ang aga-aga, oh. wala pa nga tayo sa kalahati ng first uh, quarter. Dalawa na ang foul ni Chris Alexander. But what I've noticed with this guy, Chris Alexander, even if he picks up a little, uh, some amount of fouls, marunong siyang umilag para dun sa yun, yung foul na importante na o yung nakakatakot na. Of course, in the first half, you want to keep away from your third foul. Let's see if he'll have the discipline to get out to uh, stay away from that third. Of course, uh, pagka ginawa mo yun, medyo atake, atake yung gano'ng kalaban, ano? Dahil alam nila, nag-iingat ka eh. Inaalagaan mo yung foul situation eh. Here on this advantage, gone. Chris Makana has it. Six-point lead here para sa Santa Lucia. J.J. Helderbrand. Oh, tight pass inside. Broken up by Dano Miranda. Miranda with a steal para sa Santa Lucia. Real pace in the front court. Pinigay kay Kenny Williams. Up there to Ryan Reyes. He launches it. To the left. But if it was, again, Alexander has another rebound. Chris Pacana bringing it up para sa Barangay Hinebra and looks like a timeout is going to be called by Coach John Wichico of Barangay Hinebra. First quarter pa lang tayo mga kaibigan. Labanan ng Barangay Hinebra and Santa Lucia will be the first of the best of three series here in the quarterfinal round. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. Hinebra has been playing well. They won six straight games. They rested well. My guys really played two straight uh, games, which is a very crucial game. Physically, I think we're drained right now, but I think mentally my boys are ready. That's what they said. Uh, don't ever underestimate the heart of the champion. Well, real champions in the Santa Lucia Realty. Kapapanalo lang ito ng last conference. Billy Mamarin na naman at Tumira para sa Barangay Hinebra but nothing doing that time. There! There's a exact pass to uh, Lee Benson calling kay Ryan Reyes. Kanina pa nila gusto go with yun. Fast break points para sa Santa Lucia. They've got an 8-point lead at 12-4. That's one of the strengths of Santa Lucia. They like to run. You have to be sure that you go transition back on defense. J.J. Hufferbrand was open but he opted to pass off. Wala na ipapasahan niya. Of the timeout, pumasok sa Sunday Salvation. Obviously, Coach Jong Wichico wants to get some fast power from the outside. Ito yung magandang fast break play. Kay Lee Benson, slam dunk pa. Yakult slam dunk, Yakult every day, every day okay. Sigurado ka chan. 5.07 to go, first quarter. Eight point lead para sa Santa Lucia Omolon. Bilabas get Deno, the three point shot is no good. And going up for the rebound is Sunday Salvacion. That time around, Barangay Hinebra choosing to take things a little harder para dito sa Santa Lucia. Changing up their defense. They've been getting burned on, the, on their man-to-man -man defense. Balik naman sila sa zona ngayon. Titingnan nila kung ito Santa Lucia will be able to shoot those outside shots. Meantime, the foul was called on Melbert Omolon. His first. Chris Alexander backing up against Lee Benson. Alexander puts it up. Yes! Here in the first half, I haven't seen Hinebra in a long while go to the post so often to start a ball game. We know lately ang ginagawa nila, binubusog talaga nila si Helder Branson at saka si Kagiwa, but not today. Boy. Medyunad na pa si Ryan Reyes and a foul is being called by referee Aldaba. Ano ba yung senyas doon? His initial reaction was a 
Well, ito yung bagong uh, rule ngayon ano, sa PBA. Pagka meron niyatang uh, controversy na pag may nakikita uh, pwedeng tawagan ng uh, uh, flagrant foul ay eh, nire-review ng uh, mga referees yung nangyari. Let's do the same, Ed. <laughs> Oo, oh, yeah, na, let's review. Dumadrive si uh, Ryan Reyes. Uh, they're gonna say that one right there, yung extension of body Mark Aguiwa. Uh, eh, ano desisyon na? Ang ilang palaan. So definitely, there's gonna be a foul because the whistle was called. Yeah. Depende lang kung flag flagrant siya o personal foul. Well, we'll change Technical that. Foul. Di pala foul. Technical lang ano. Mm -hmm. Tripping without contact. Well, Mark Aguilar has tried to appeal the decision, but uh, that has already been made. And with the help of the uh, replay as well. So, uh, pumasok yung technical uh, free throw. At lumawag, lumawig na naman ang kalamangan ng Santa Lucia. It's up now to 7 points at 13 to 6. That's one right. from Pumulon and Lee Benson unable to control it. So, balik sa barangay Hinebra ang bola with 4.16 to go in the first quarter. Nakababanggit ko lang uh, kanina, Jason, na uh, medyo intense ang labanan dito sa quarterfinal round dahil best of three lang ito eh. Alexander trying to essay the same move pero may pito sa referee Aldama at ang ginagawa rin dito ni Alexander siya pero na siyang dalawang personal foul ang gusto niya ito rin si Benson ikaw rin magkaroon ka rin ng dalawang personal foul he's halfway there because Benson picks up his first para manos tayo sabi niya sama-sama tayo sa hirap ng ginyawa Chris Alexander Lee Benson 3 minutes and 54 seconds remaining in the uh, first quarter. Then of Miranda. Ryan Reyes. Here's Kelly Williams from outside. Valentino Maan. Alexander Paris a rebound after Halter Brand. Here's Mike Kagiwa. Set shot. Ayo parin kumasok yung mga long shot ng barangay Hinebra. Here comes Derek Miranda. But Miranda looks around, pulls up. Inabot yata ni Sandy, you know, ah. And Benson takes it away. Another play. Ryan Reyes with another assist this time to Vitoy Omolon. But you can't, uh, you, have to, you have to see what Ryan Reyes is doing. First off, he yeah. got the rebound over big men. Kaya sila nakatakbo. Tapos nun, didn't give up on the play. Gave his team another opportunity to score. Eric Beck is inside. Deflected. Loose ball. At yung taga Santa Lucia humahabol. And Kelly Williams saves it to Dan of Miranda. Here's Kelly Williams. No look pass or look away pass. Vitoy Omolon now has seven points in the game. Itong Barangay Hinebra, they are really attacking whoever Kelly Williams is guarding. Have they been successful? Maybe partly dahil nakaapat na punto si Billy Mamaril. But they, these guys are not shooting well to big men at Barangay Hinebra. Uh, J.J. Hulkerbrand hit uh, an air ball. Uh, that's not going to help their morale any. Two and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. It is an 11-point lead by Santa Lucia Realty at 17 to 6. We have another timeout. Alright, mga kaibigan, balik po tayo rito sa Kuneta Astrodome sa Pasay City kung saan ginaganap ang unang gabi ng quarterfinal round. Ito ang ilang eksena, no? ay inagaw ni Lee Benson kay Chris Alexander ang rebound, Ryan Reyes with a touch pass out uh, to Alu pass to uh, Bitoy Omolon. At ito na, yung dukot kanina ni uh, Bitoy Omolon as time was winding down. Oh, well, now it's seven points in the game for the Santa Lucia Realty. And they've got a, an early lead, a commanding early lead here in the first quarter. Uh, 11 points po ang dilalamang ng Santa Lucia Realty. Meron na lang tayong dalawat kalahating minuto na nanalabi sa ating unang yugto. Para dito kay Melbert Tomolon, that really picks up 
the field goal percentage of his team because yung mga tinitira niya, layups, and like we said, start of his coverage, this is a guy that really lives underneath the basket. Ito yung naman ha, lowest seed to reach the quarterfinals and number 9 sila eh. Pagkatapos ng elimination round, number 9 po itong Santa Lucia. Pero kita nyo naman ngayon, ha? Eh, sumisigasin ang ate yan. Tinuloy ni Kelly Williams yung drive at dumagdag pa, naging 13. Ang abante nitong Santa Lucia, 5 points scored so far by Kelly Williams. Juan Artani is in the game. Sunday Salvacion. Michael Hewa gets loose. Yes! Awala. Si uh, Mike Kaguma inside. Bagsak si Paul Artadi. And a foul is going to be called on Ryan Reyes to the protestations of the Santa Lucia bench. Right now, it's really a difficult uh, unit para dito sa Santa Lucia because when you look at it, Paul Artadi will definitely um, uh, give the ball handler a hard time. Other than Ryan Reyes, no one guy out there can really bring down the basketball para Santa Lucia. Good point is again of Miranda. Artadi takes it inside. And Altani blows up the spirits of the Central, the Central Agati Dia Barangay Hinebra crowd. Ito si Bitoy Obolon, pumuhit. Binigay kay Dennis Ospino, nakapapasok lamang. Nakapita naman ang Kagua. Nakapunit si Bitoy Obolon. Meron kang nakapita and the basket will count. Si Sunday Salvacion ang tinatawagan ng foul. The wild sequence here. Huwag yung tapik. Napulot ni Bitoya. And Omolon will have a three-point play opportunity again. Eleven-point lead sa kasalukuyan ng Santa Lucia Realty. One more shot for Bitoya. And he's got ten points para sa Santa Lucia Realty. Oh, that already matches the output of the entire Barangay Hinebra team oh, para dito kay uh, Bitoya Omolon. 22 to 10 is the count. And the pass inside to Chris Alexander. Kinaliwapa. Four points for Chris Alexander. Out of this Kelly Williams. Good again, Kate. Then of Miranda. Back to Williams. Esquilo. Williams in it. Napitawa niya yung bola. Back to you with the new steal. Abolanda. Sa bola. Napitawa niya yung bola. He goes up. He's cool. At nabuhin na naman ang barangay Hinebra crowd Dito sa loob ng Pineta As to the home The lead uh, chopped down to 8 points One student, 13 Barangay Hinebra needed a guy to infuse energy That guy has been calling Ayan ko siya Very active hand Lee Benson Underneath the basket Reverse layup is good Six points for Benson. At yun, para dito kay Paul Artadi, lalaki yung responsibilidad niya. Dahil yung mga minuto para kay Ronald Pubit, some of that, he's gonna have to give up. Sunday Salvation tries over the outside and misses. Shot clock is off. Here in the first quarter, it's a 10-point lead. Para sa Santa Lucia Realty. As Dennis Miranda uh, sets up the play para sa Realtors. Dennis has been in the kaabang ng pasa. Instead, it goes to Bito Omanon. Omanon steps on the baseline. And uh, just in time uh, for the buzzer to sound for the end of the first 12 minutes of regulation play. It was a uh, first game, now three game series between Barangay Hinebra and Santa Lucia. And you see the numbers for Melbert Amalan, a scorching first quarter for this Mindanao Nugget. At sa pagkatapos mo natin, first quarter and a score, sampu ang labang ng Santa Lucia of the Barangay Hinebra. Babalik po kami para sa second period. It's hard to fill in the place. No one person can fill the place of Ronald Tubit. So it has to be a collective effort. Just like when Mark missed three or four games, I think everybody single-handedly wanted to fill the shoe that Mark vacated or miss collectively we will feel that we feel the shoes up my collectively we will feel the shoes up of uh of one okay uh, better uh no easier said than done you know uh, you cannot putting up the shoes but uh, they'll uh, find a way eric reyes anong balita well i nakausap ko yung team doctor ng barangay hinebra at sinabi nga niya sa akin na uh, dislocated left ankle nga tong si ronald tubid 
Ang uh, kamalasan dito, hindi siya makakabalik for this conference na because it will take three to five weeks at least na malalagyan niya ng pressure yung kanyang kaliwang pa. Kaya sabi niya, malabo-labo na makabalik si Ronald for this conference. He hopes that other players will be able to step up. Ed? Thank you, Eric. And Paul Artani is blocked. Uh, Baraka Hinebra fans uh, felt that there was uh, a goaltending violation. None was called. Here comes Paul Artani once again. Two minutes to number one. Bumitata! Mikel Williams with a foul is going to be called. First personal, okay, Kelly Williams of that play by Paul Artani. Ang bilis din naman kasi nito si Paul Artani, you know. <laughs> you know the problem starts with Santa Lucia kasi hinahayaan nila na maka-atake si Paul Artani close to the cup. Of course, you want to be able to uh, push him out and uh, make him take those jumpers. But pag nakabueno, hirap ng pigilin eh. Pero alam mo, lately nakalata ko si Paul Artani has been willing to take the jumpers. Well, yes, he's uh, really worked on that shot. He's made a couple of them. Uh, the first uh, free throws no good. Muli binabati po namin ang lahat ng suki ng PBA. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Magandang gabi, kapit. Please go. Nanonood na naman at uh, tuwan-tuwa po ang uh, lahat. Dahil uh, uh, maganda po ang uh, labanan dito sa quarter final round kanina. Nanaro ang Magnolia over Coca-Cola. The uh, score there, 108 para sa Magnolia, 96 para sa Coca-Cola. Kelly Williams from the corner. Sunday, salvation para sa rebound, para sa Walangga Hinebra. Binigay kay Mike Kagiwa. Kagiwa into the front court. Mamaril, Artadi against Joseph Yo. Ay na pinasok si Joseph Yo. Ha? From top of the key, salvation misses, but he gets another rebound. And the colors of his own miss. Ano mo na, napansin ko ito si uh, Sunday Salvacion. Eh talaga namang uh, talon ng talon. At kumingi po sa mga tulog ni Lee Benson, tinayawan siya. <laughs> the problem was Sunday Salvacion tried to ask help, pero ginawa niya, hinila na yung shorts ni Benson <laughs> para makatayo. Eh. Benson not liking that. Who <laughs> would? Kelly Williams. Nabitawa ng bala. Napunit yung kwalang sadig. Napunit yung uh, mga kagiwa. Pero meron po ito. May nakasipa ng bola eh. Referee Balao calling that uh, infraction. So, uh, meron tayong mga substitution dito. J.J. Helderbrand, babalik. At si Paolo Mendoza sees action for the first time para sa Santa Lucia Realty. Uh, they're calling on Paolo Mendoza because they struggle with that zone defense of Barangay Ginebra. Quickly, Barangay Ginebra changes them back to man para mawala yung uh, rason para sa pagbalik nitong si uh, pagpasok ni Paolo. And a foul is called on Billy Mamaril as Lee Benson was backing up. Binagamitan daw ang tuhod, sabi ni uh, Welfrey Altaba. So, Mandana, Ryan Rose, babalik agad. Uh, this time for Janet Miranda. But of time, ten and a half minutes remaining here in the uh, second quarter. Eight-point lead para sa Santa Lucia Realty. Lee uh, Benson misses it, gets it back. Mendoza, balik ulit kay Benson. Dennis is Peter looking around against Eric Flint. Swallow by Chris Alexander. It's just not on the offensive end. Kung saan kayo magkakaroon ng fire for your team defensively, if he's not able to score, Chris Alexander can do that for your team. Here's Lee Benson against Chris Alexander. Did he do it himself? Did he get Paolo Mendoza inside? Short jump is no good. Alexander got his rebound. Off down to JJ Hunter. Down to the front court against Ryan Reyes. Paul Artani, Eric Benson sends it over to Mark Kikua and back to post. Here's Alexander against Lee Benson. So we'll send it to Benson. The number is to Paul Artani. Artani inside. The number is to Paul Artani. The number is to Lee J.J. Helterbrand. May you know all that I'm going to do? J.J. Helterbrand, huh? He's been the uh, consistent guy for his team. But in this game today, ito si J.J. Still scoreless and uh, already has two turnovers. Make that three turnovers so far. May isang tiro din siyang kapos, di ba? Oo. Oh, and kanina, nalala mo, medyo mom shot siya. Tapos sa uh, last second, passing it off. Ay, pinasa niya, oo. Oh. Wala na pa ng tao rin. 
Joseph Yeo at Medford. Ito po, naging uh, bayani para sa Santa, uh, Santa Lucia Realty in the wild card base. He gets away and he scores on the left hand and drive. Remember, I started this game, sabi ko, baka mahirapan si Joseph Yeo because Chris Alexander is at the field. Joseph Yeo not respecting Miss Kinandun si Chris Alexander, taking the basketball to him. Here's Mark Kagiwa with the pick from Eric Mink. Kagiwa inside. Twisting shot is no good. Eric Mink is rocked by Escudo. Mark Kagiwa's shot goes through. The foul pop. And the lead of Santa Lucia is down to 8 at 26-18. 9.05 to go here in the second quarter. Ito. Ang nangyari kanil-kanil lang. Pinupata si Eric Mink to Dennis Espino. Pero nakuha ni Mark Pagiwa ang bola. And he follows it up for two. Maybe for three. With the loss of Ronald Tubit, of course, no one man can uh, take over yung nawala kay Ronald Tubit. You would expect Mark Pagiwa to even up his average. He's already leading all the locals in scoring. But he still has that ability to give another three or four points for his team. Well, yun ang inaasahan ng mga pagkabarangay Hinebra. No? Sabi nga ng mga tao eh. Parang input na yung mga numero ni uh, Mike Aguilo, but uh, still, uh, they need some more from him. Ryan Reyes has it. Tinabas ni Joseph Yeo against Paul Artani. Lee Benson. Masa itaas. Big lang tinira ng set shot. Wow, tumasok! Well, binistahan siya sa ni uh, Chris Alexander thinking of Hindi niyang titira sa loob. At uh, remember, Alexander already has two personal fouls. And, you know, he's going tit for tat with uh, Chris Alexander so far. Yeah. Siyamado pa siya dito sa performance. Eric Mink misses. Alexander! Woo! Tinlaka ni Lee Benson. Yung kanyang barkada. Kasama na si Gilita ni itong dalawang ito. Here's Dennis Espiro backing up against Eric Mink. First shot, Joseph Yeo! Yes! Just, that, that is a problem with Barangay Hinebra because no one boxed out Joseph Yeo. He came from the outside. At ngayon, dosi na naman ang abante ng Santa Lucia. Paul Artani, nabitawan ng bola, napulog kay Eric Mek, balik kay Artani. Kagiwa for the set shot! Yes! Good bounce! Para ko na Kagiwa. Tiyan Tresyan, he's got 10 points in the game. Ryan Reyes, Joseph Yeo. Did he get a pick the uh, Lee Benson? And uh, there is Espino, unmolested. We can see the confidence of Joseph Yeo. He's willing to take on yeah. anybody on the Barangay Hinebra team. And then all of a sudden, last second, vision, enough vision to see Dennis Espino wide open. J. Helzerband. This Alexander, quick off spin. See the lobo with Dennis Espino sa ere. And Espino will be charged with a foul. That's a quick learner on the part of Chris Alexander. He's loaded on the kanan. He doesn't want to go to the kanan of his defender. Quick spin to the baseline. You can see the result. Libre and libre. Well, he's going to get to Dennis Espino. And he will get two shots. So, what's that? And this is the Ticada TM3. At it's in your bag of TM Discarte. It's in your bag of TM Discarte. It's in your bag of Discarte. Dilema Maril comes back in para kay Eric Mink sa panig ng Barangay Hinebra. Chris Pacara is also there. And Chris Alexander makes the three-point play. Pinaba ang lamang ng Santa Lucia down to nine at 33-24. Lee Benson. Paolo Mendoza. Joseph Wolf with me. Wala. And Benson comes from behind. Last touch on Barangay Hinebra. Ito you know, si Benson. Parang yung pag talaga nasa puso niya yung magtrabaho. Nakikita yeah. mo resulta. In the first half, it's still seven minutes to go. He's already got nine points and nine rebounds. You compare that to Chris Alexander, who only has six points and six rebounds. And this time, another the PM Fresh. Got into Ryan Reyes. He's got four points so far. And uh, more importantly, gives Santa Lucia the 12 point lead of 36-24. So, Ed, one of the key spots of Santa Lucia is to keep the crowd out of the game. They are, they are doing a masterful yeah. job That's right. so far in this first half. Tahimik na tahimik yung mga barangay Hinebra Khan as J.J. Hunter ran it, takes it inside, and lakas yung medlo at napasahan. Alexander at Dallas, Lee Benson para sa rebound. That's 10 rebounds. At saka nababother niya itong si Chris Alexander. Nire-respeto ni Alexander yung depensa ni Benson. 
Dennis Espino from the outside. Alexander Perez a rebound. Going to get Chris Pacana. Pacana into the front court. Going to get Mark Kagiwa against Joseph Yo. Kagiwa. Sumaksak sa loob. He gets it back to Kamuna. Oh, marami ni Gwam. He got his own miss. Walang kinamahan yun. And so the traveling call on Mike Kagiwa. 6.09 to go. Second quarter time, mga kaibigan. This is the first game of the best of three. It is a quarterfinal round. Pinagalabanan ng dalawang kupulang ito ang karapatan na humarap sa Red Bull pagdating sa semifinal round ng ating Fiesta Conference. Lee Benson takes it against Chris Alexander. So there's a factor. Oops! Ay kamuna. May lose ball foul on Ryan Ray. Uh, Teka mo na, sino ang tinawala? Mark Kagiwa, I believe, Kagiwa. pulling down uh, Ryan Reyes. Uh -huh. Ryan Reyes really uh, giving ito mga guardsya ng Ginebra a hard time because he's not stopping the offense or defense. Yan ang energy level. Uh, Napakataas. So, 5 minutes and 53 seconds to go. Dito sa ating second quarter, we have a timeout. We'll be right back. Five fifty three to go sa ating second quarter. Ito ang standing so far. No? Sa MVP race, ng unang si Kenny Williams. Sumusunod si Arwin Santos. Willa Miller is in third. J.J. Helferband, number four. Kobe Raimundo. And uh, fifth, uh, in the fourth slot. So, dikit-dikit yan, ano? At, uh, syempre, yung mga naglalaro pa, eh, mas nakalalamang dyan. You know, especially Kelly, Arwin, and JJ. Yeah. One of the things to say about the Kakar ng MVP is the lasting impression. And of course, if you're still playing during the final conference, that's why it's a big part of some of the votante. Here's Paolo Mendoza, Dennis Espino and Sign against Billy Bomarilla, Joseph Yo, Paolo Mendoza, Mendoza with a floater. Voila! Rose ball! Nakuhan ni J.J. Helferbrand. Pass now to Chris Pacana. Pacana inside. Dalabas ni Helferbrand. Helferbrand down low to Chris Alexander. Tumatako muli. And he hands it up to Pacana outside. And out of bounds. You see, that's the difference. If Ronald Tubid was actually the guy there, which Chris Pacana is trying to replace minutes-wise, Ronald Tubid maybe would have had enough athletic ability to finish or at least try to finish in that situation. Really a lot being asked of Chris Pacana. Really not uh, getting a lot of minutes so far in this conference. Only uh, averaging about uh, 10 minutes a game. And, but he had a lot of games where he didn't even play. That's right. So Montana out of bounds play for the Barangay Ginebra. As Joseph Yo is uh, pulled out. In the meantime, Ryan Reyes is back for the Santa Lucia. 36-24. Those are the manga. Nang Santa Lucia over Barangay Ginebra here in the second quarter. Sunday Salvation. Here's Mark Kagiwa. And there's going to be a foul. They're asking for goal pending. Referee Marino single the foul. And he counts the basket. Yeah. Ryan Reyes just picked up his third personal foul. Well pending on And Mike Kagiwa will be shooting for the three-point play. Mark Kagiwa is doing everything in his power to keep his team afloat. He's already got 12 points. And remember, this guy didn't even start for his team. That's right. He's been the one bright spot for the Jin King so far in this first half. Ten-point lead. Para sa Santa Lucia. Para pa tayo 4.35 to go. Second quarter. Paolo Mendoza, Dennis Espino. Mendoza on it. Maligulik kay Espino. Espino inside the handoff. Lee Benson goes up for the easy two. He's got 11 points in the game so far. The import of Santa Lucia Realty. Well, Chris Alexander was in the area pool, but remember he's got two personal fouls, making sure that he doesn't pick up a third one in the first half. Ano niya, medyo delikado na yung challenge pa ngayon kira. Billy Mamaril, after starting out with the first four points of Barangay Hinebra in the first quarter, now adds to it. Ano na siyang anim na puntos. Billy Mamaril. Ano yun? Ano yun sa low post, Kelly Williams at saka si Sunday Salvacion ang tutumbang preso. Patintero pala. Second down, Sunday. 
See, that's the thing that we, I was saying. With Kelly Williams, Alasa Barangay Ginebra, if you put Sunday on him, Sunday is making sure that he doesn't stay at the post because not attacked siya sa strength ni Kelly Williams. He's trying to push him out. That's why he got that foul. Pag malalaki naman yung bumabantay sa kanya, kailangan sila sumag sa kanya dahil sa bilis ni Kelly Williams. And Kelly Williams bobbles it. J.J. Helferman goes out of the way. And that will be the first two points. Right away, J.J. Helferman uh, run away to score it uh, off the steal. At uh, ibinabana naman niya ang labang ng Santa Luzia down to 8 points at 38 to 30. But if I 3 minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the second quarter, I'm going to keep out for more action here at the Coneta Astro. But because Kelly is the number one in statistical points in MVP, and Ryan's the leading rookie of the year, if we get eliminated in this, the individual awards is like rush out already. That's what Kelly said. He don't care about the individual awards. He cared about the team. And I told the guys, hey, your, your teammates is really caring for this team. You have to support him as well because he thinks about the team first rather than his individual awards. Alright, so napakita po namin sa inyo kanina, no? nangunguna nga po si Kelly Williams sa MVP Awards, but they have to stay uh, active uh, pag na-eliminate ka, eh, titigil na yung pagpuntos uh, mo. Eh. He comes in his credit. And a steal by Mike Kagiwa against Dennis Miranda. That's an end. Kagiwa now with 14 points. At uh, tinapyas na po ni Mike Kagiwa ang lamang. Down to six. And remember, this is big, it's got 13. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back turnovers ahead para sa Santa Lucia and Barangay Hinebra. With those two quick guys up front, the fast and the furious, they will make you pay if you have those turnovers. So, Madonna, can we win? Thanks to the Billy Bamadona, the offensive foul is going to be called on Kelly. Now, these are things that you can't afford to do and uh, you are under the gun. Gumahabol na po yung Barangay Hinebra. At yung mga kanya passing turnover, eh, makakasakit yan sa Santa Lucia Realty. Uh, Barangay Hinebra hoping to finish strong. You have to say that Santa Lucia has owned this first half, but if they have the ability to finish strong, they can steal this half. Yeah. Are you paying it? Kagiwa! Wala. And Joseph Yo going for the rebound. Sunday Salvation trying to contest it. Ah, uh, tatawagan ng foul sa Sunday Salvation. Pangatlo na yan on Sunday. Ani mga bante ng Santa Lucia Realty na sa kanilang bola. Isa sa mga player na hindi na natin nakita ko na. Juti Valenzuela is right oh, again wow. at 6 minutes and then since then has disappeared or has not been back on the floor. Lee Benson trying to get aggressive against Alexander, but Akasantira. And J.J. Helferbad comes down with a rebound. Throw a pass picked off by Derek Miranda, completed by Lee Benson. Kelly Williams, Banga is it on the Helferbad. Down now to Dupree, Omelon. And a traveling foul on Omelon. Nothing right going here. Para sa Santa Lucia in the past couple of plays. And it's up to Barangay. He never to take advantage of it. Willie Wilson is in the game for the first time. Para sa Barangay Hinebra. Helferbrand. Wilson. Sunday Salvation down low to Chris Alexander. Alexander against Lee Benson. A fake. That is so good. J.J. Helferbrand. Voila. But Wilson recovers it at the baseline. And Mike Kagiwa. Well, Willie Wilson is uh, going to get called for an offensive foul. Using his shoulder para malibre. Ito si Mike Kagiwa. Ito, Ed, nakikita natin, really, Barangay Hinebra looking for a guy to fill in that Ronald David role. Ngayon naman, Willie Wilson, they're really going deeper and deeper into that bench just to make sure to, to find out sino ba ang pwedeng makakuha ng mga minuto ngayon. Well, sabi nga ni Coach Joey Chico, no, there's no one man. Dapat siya tulong-tulong niya para maparumbalik yung contribution ni uh, Ronald David. Pamalan will try to the play. Wala. 
Joseph Neal goes up, but it's Chris Alexander tapping it over to Mike Kagiwa. Kagiwa zigzagging into the French court, puts it up, and Chris Alexander on the trail. And the lead is down to four. If you go in and you're able to suck out the other big man of the opposing team, the big man of the offensive rebound. And to let you crowd, chant of Hinebra, Hinebra. Lee Benson, side view, shot, gets it back and follows it up. Napaka aggressive ni Kun Lee Benson sa araw na to, really uh, giving Chris Alexander a handful. 13 points para kay Lee Benson so far. JJ Helferman down low to Chris Alexander. Alexander, the pass to Wilson, Gilabaski, Sunday, 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 hits the deal on Chris. And he cuts the lead, and something is here down to its closest at three points, 40 37, with only 38 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And in the ball, a close in. And Avante, now something is here, and they maintained at least a 10 point lead for the majority of the uh, first half. But it's either Saduno and the man up in Barangay Hineva. As you see this trail by Chris Alexander and now you can't slam down. You can't every day. Every day, okay? Sigurado ka chan. Today, mga kaibigan, amidst the uh, huge crowd dito sa Kuneta Astrodome na pupugay po ang inyong PBA at ang ABC5. Ed Pixon po lang makasama si Jason Webb. Kumusta ka mo diha sa kabisayan ng sa Mindanao? Babay ulan-ulan diha. Sahay, diri, na agihapon. Alright. It is uh, 40-37. Lamang ng tatlo ang Santa Lucia. 37 seconds to go. Second quarter. Joseph Yo. Tarak Duranta. Habang ko help with that. Kenny Williams, Joseph Yo. Inside pass to Kevin Williams. Nice play by Santa Lucia. Assist by Lee Benson. Williams has seven points. That's coming off the timeout. That's alam nila. Nakasawa na yung Baraga in Ebra and they were able to get a good shot. And it looked like a deliberate play there by uh, Santa Lucia Realty. Pinagpasapasahan muna nila. Hanggang sa may setup nila. Yung assist ni Lee Benson kay Gusa uh, Tumakat na si... Uh, uh, Kelly Williams, so lima na naman na ang lamang ng, bar ng uh, Santa Lucia over Barangay Hinebra. Samantala, ito po yung ating PBA Press Club Sports Riding Contest in cooperation with the PBA Media Bureau. Uh, Bukas po ito sa lahat ng college students except past winners. Ayan, one of the PBA semi-final playdates, prizes at stake, 15,000 for the champion, 10,000 prizes for the first runner-up, 5,000 for the second runner-up. The register called Mitch Flores at 638-1815 to 17. Yeah, para sa mga nag-aambisyon na maging sports riders, malaking pagkakataon niya. Na. Samantala, uh, a shade under 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. Lamang ng lima ang Santa Lucia Realty. Bola nasa Barangay Hinebra. Well, Hinebra has to be aware that Santa Lucia still has one foul to give. They can't wait too long bago sila mag-set up. They go to Chris Alexander. Lee Benson. Tumusundot-sundot. J.J. Hungerman. Gets away from the middle. And it is up. Malakas. Paul Williams. Comes down with the rebound. Williams put in. Into the front court. He sees Joseph Liu. And he upset. The beating. All right. And the buzzer sounds. Para matapos po ang ating first half of play. It is a game one. The best of three series between Barangay Hinebra and Santa Lucia Realty para po sa pagkakataon na makapasok sa semi-final round ng ating Fiesta Conference. At uh, for the majority of the first half, it was uh, Santa Lucia who marbled po itong uh, Barangay Hinebra at the closing moments. Let's go over to Eric Lewis. Joseph, what is it that you did? Ano pa ang ginawa ni Coach Boyd sa'yo? Kasi nang bigla nagbago yung naroon mo in the wild card, kaya kumpiyansa ang kumpiyansa ka. Uh, Siguro na lang, uh, hindi na siya nawala ng tiwala sa akin. Tos, sabi na ako yung six man niya, so kailangan talaga mag-step ano, mag up. Tos, yung first five namin, okay. Pag natin na second five namin, hindi na nakawala bigla yung sandalis niya. So yun nga, nag-step up lang ako. Oh, thanks a lot, Joseph. Since like nap. Mark, uh, si Joseph, six man. Actually, ikaw six man ka rin. Boba ang lamang ng, uh, ng Santa Lucia actually nung pumasok ang ni Bobby. Well, um, 
Sinusubukan ko lang uh, mababa yung yung lead ng uh, Santa Lucia. So, syempre, kailangan pagpasok mo effective ka lalo. Lalo kang ipapasok ng, ng six months. Actually, yung trabaho ni Mia at saka ako, medyo mahirap yun. Dahil kailangan maging consistent ka rin sa ginagawa mo. Kung hindi ka, hindi ka maging consistent, medyo mahirap mga sa buong game. Thanks a lot, Martin. Check it out. Ed, Jason. Alright, kaya po mga kaibigan, mga main men para sa dalawang kumulaan, Joseph Yon at Santa Lucia Realty, Mark, kakiwa ng Barangay, Hinebra. Sa pagtatapos ng ating first half, lumang pa rin ang Santa Lucia ng lima, 42-37, down from 13. Para mga malaking uh, paghabol na Barangay Hinebra towards the close of the first half. Babalik po tayo para sa ating halftime break show. In a moment. This portion is brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. Welcome to the Petron XCS Halftime Report. Dito po sa Nabala ng Paragay, Lebra, at Santa Lucia Realty. Five-point lead para sa Santa Lucia going into the third quarter. Alam po natin mga kaibigan na best of three lang po ito. Kaya gusto gusto po ng dalawang kapulan na makauhus dito sa kanilang uh, serye para magkaroon ng pagkakataon na pumasok sa semifinal round against Red Bull. Akita natin, uh, Jason, na maganda ang opisyal ng Santa Lucia. They led by as many as 13 points. Pero maganda naman ang pagkatapos sa second half or the second quarter ng Barangay Hilabra. Yes, yeah, Santa Lucia, they were sharp in their uh, wildcard games and they brought in that sharpness into this uh, first quarter and the first half, rather first part of this uh, first half in this game. Ito naman Barangay Hilabra, of course they had a one-week layoff. Di naman kahabaan yun. But uh, they had to deal with some injury problems that they had to get over over with. Tapos ngayon, nung uh, na, at na iron out na nila yung kanilang uh, sistema kung sino yung dapat magdaro, nakita na natin, bumulusok na rin yung daro nila. Well, parang nagbabagang lupa po ang Santa Lucia Realty ng first quarter. Nakita natin yung uh, sumigasing yung uh, mga players, katulad ni, uh, well, kanila effort, siyempre, si Lee Benson, ano, ang ganda-ganda ng uh, pinakita. Pero meron din naman uh, mga uh, local support uh, Uh, dito, naagaw ni uh, Lee Benson ang bola at maganda yung pasak eh uh, before Umulon. And Umulon actually finished with 10 points for the first half. A very active uh, uh, play here by Santa uh, Lucia. As you see, Umulon again scoring uh, from the inside. At uh, the second quarter naman, pagdating po sa dulo ng second quarter, doon naman bumira ang barangay in Hinebra occasion by good defense. J.J. Uh, Helterbrand, only two points uh, in the game so far. Pero maganda yung pagkakakuha niya ng dalawang puntos na yun of the steal. And again, Mike Kagiwa uh, takes it away para sa barangay Hinebra. Kaya naman uh, medyo nakabawi-bawi itong mga hari sa uh, second quarter. And you look at the, the field goal story there. So nakita natin na itong Barangay Hinebra can be an explosive team, Jason. And let's look at the statistics to tell us more of the story. You know, what we noticed there in the flips out there that uh, nakikita natin, both teams had their share of layups, but it was different. It was Santa Lucia in the first quarter, Barangay Hinebra in the second. Both teams did not shoot very well from the outside, but they were getting some layups. That's why they're just shooting a uh, shade at uh, around uh, 40% for both teams. Rebounds, maliit lang diferensya going in the side of Barangay Hinebra. Second chance points going for Santa Lucia even though they have less rebounds. And ito, key stat ito. Barangay Hinebra is getting more fast break points than Santa Lucia because usually ito Santa Lucia ang nakikita natin dito. Oh. Sina kadalasan yung nakakuha ng maraming fast break points. At tignan na natin ang uh, kontribusyon ng iba't ibang mga players, ang leading scorers para sa Barangay Hinebra. Correctors, look at it, it's Mark Kadiwa. Lapos Alexander with eight, and uh, Billy Mamarin started off well. He scored the first four points of the team. Santa Lucia is led by Lee Benson with 13. Bitoy Molan with 10. Kelly Williams, the leading MVP candidate with seven points. Inaasahan po natin, mga kaibigan, na tuloy-tuloy na defeat ang labanan na pagdating natin sa second half. Abangan po ninyo ang labanan ito ng Barangay Hinebra at Santa Lucia. Meantime, this has been the Petron XCS Halftime Report. This motion was brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. Okay, mga 
kaibigan, muli po namin kayong uh, binabating mula po rito sa Kuleta Astrodome sa Pasay City. Ito po ang ating pangalawang game in our double header this evening to uh, kick off the quarterfinal round of the uh, PBA Smart Fiesta Conference. Kanina po sa ating unang laro, nagwagi ang Magnolia Beverage Masters of the Coca-Cola Tigers. Ang score doon, 108 to 96. So, 1-0 na in favor of Magnolia. Best of three niya. Barangay Ginebra with possession as we start the third quarter. And down by five points, J.J. Helferbrand. First score pass, picked off by Ryan Reyes. Reyes is gone. Ryan Reyes, pangatlong ataw niya na yan sa larong ito. And he is number one in steals. He is a rookie, but last rookie to do that, Johnny Amarientos. Hindi naman na. Sorry. J.J. Helderman is trying to twist the shot by J.J. Helderman. And a foul. Bitoy Omolon will be called for his second personal foul. Tignan nyo itong ginawa ni J.J. Helderman. Ang daming dinaanan. Santa Lucia player is in his wake. But unable to complete the three-point play. Mintis po. Yung free throw ni J.J. Helderman. And so, Ryan Reyes brings it up para sa Santa Lucia. Kelly Williams top of the key over to Ryan Reyes, down low to Lee Benson. One away shot is no good, loose ball picked up by Jim T. Valenzuela. Here's Mike Kagiwa. Chris Alexander, Tiradua, Benny Mamarul. Missing it as well, Mike Kagiwa picks it up. And finally scores to Barangay Hinebra. Iba rin to si Mark Kagiwa. You would think napakaliit na ilalabas na yung bola. Binigla na yung defensa ng Santa Lucia with that teardrop. And all of a sudden, Hinebra just three points down. Ito na pinakamalapit ng Barangay Hinebra in a long, long while in this game. Ryan Reyes. Para kay Kelly Williams. Over Billy Mamaril. Wala. Alexander. And Kagiwa slips. And presence of mind by Mike Kagiwa to pass it off to J.J. Helferbrand. Helferbrand, sinasalubong ito tayo malon. Helferbrand pa rin. Looking for an opening. And he goes with a long jumper. He had yes, para kay J.J. Helferbrand. Tatla! Amaro Sanayo, seven points para kay J.J. Helferbrand. First deadlock of the game at 44-all. Barangay Hinebra starting with the, probably their strongest unit that they have. And then Akagat si Mark Kagiwa to start this quarter. And you can see Coach John Chico not fooling around, making sure he had his prime unit when they started this quarter. Kaya naman nakatabla sila. Pero ito si Lee Benson, kagad na sumagot para sa Santa Lucia Realty para ibalik sa kanilang kalamangan, 46-44. Juti Valenzuela, hindi naglaro ito ng second quarter, ano ha? He gets it back. He is at the baseline. Already eight points for Dito Kay Billy Mamaril. Now that's one of the uh, facets of Barangay Hinebra, stats uh, uh, or rather positions that they don't really get a lot of points from that uh, power forward position. Uh -huh. But today, Billy Mamaril contributing eight. Three bets are inside to be toy. On the long puts it up. Malakas. He gets it back. And he scores again. <laughs> Doon lang si Bitoy Omolon, nasa ilalim, just using his footwork. You know, that's one of the things that he has, kaya siya nalilibre. Good for footwork, good pivoting, kaya siya nakakuha ng layup. Mike Pagiwa, Chris Alexander, tama kay Lee Benson. Walang mapasahan, dito ba sa Nicky Duty, si Billy Pamaril. Pamaril over Williams. Loose ball, picked up by Pamaril himself. Duty takes it inside, left-handed shot, no good. Chris Alexander coming up. From behind, last touch called on Barangay Hinebra. But here in this second half, Barangay Hinebra much more aggressive than what we saw yep. in them in the first half. Still, Santa Lucia has a two-point lead. The best that uh, Hinebra has uh, gotten so far was to deadlock it a couple of times. He bends and began to Mira. Mahira. And it was a J.J. Helper back. And goes to Chris Alexander once again. That's going to be a bump on Lee Benson. 
remember that Chris Alexander picked up his second personal foul back in the first quarter. Para maganda yung ginawa niya pangangalaga, ano, ha, sa foul ng yun. Now, Lee Benson has two fouls as well. Well, he saw that move right there, uh, Lee Ben, rather, uh, Chris Alexander going to the baseline. He has that every time, kasi nilulood siya the uh, Lee Benson on his right hand. Yeah. So if he's able to spin baseline, he's going to be able to get a lot of points. The first time, Marlo Aquino in this ballgame. Aba, ano, ha, ngayon lang pinasong si Marlo. Pero ito si Lee Benson kasi, nung uh, first half, eh, dito nagpahinga. That's right. Let's go over to Mark uh, uh, Vargas. Thank you. And medyo malalim nga ang pinagsamahan nitong si Chris Alexander at Lee Benson dahil back in the States daw, eh, nag-train sila together for pro basketball at nagsama rin sila sa Korea ng matagal playing basketball. And kaya dito naman sa Pilipinas, eh, ngayon magkasama na naman sila kaya namumuo ulit ang kanilang magandang friendship. Thank you guys. Ayun naman pala, mahaba-haba pala pinagsamahan ang dalawang yan. Grabe sila, meron silang magandang friendship. Oh, how cool. Alexander. Damn, damn. By the way, in the preceding play, tumira ng TM3 si Albert Umolon. At si Umolon din, ang starring dito sa kabila. Siya naman ang nakapaw. Third personal on Bitoy Umolon. Three-point lead para sa Santa Lucia at 51 to 48. Jinti Valenzuela maglalabas ng bola para sa Barangay Hinebra. 14 on the shot clock para sa Barangay Hinebra. Chris Alexander, minabot kay Jinti. Manigulig ni Alexander against Marlu. Alexander, right from the door with the bike, Kagiwa. Kagiwa, top of the field jumpers, no good. And the loose ball is picked up by Ryan Reyes. Reyes into the front court. See the little Jinti Valenzuela. Down low to Marlo Aquino. Marlo, Marcos Lama to Alexander. The one hander by Marlo Aquino. Napangiti pa si Marlo. Pagkatapos nun, biniglaan niya ito si Chris Alexander. Tara nyo, madamig ha. Sabi siya, kanina ba ka nagpapainit siya din? Actually, Marlo hasn't been playing a lot of games lately, especially in the wild cards. And there's a nudge on J.J. Helterband. Uy, pang-apat na yan. On Bitoy, ha? Delicado yan. He's been playing well. Ito yung ginawa ni Marlo just a play ago. One-handed shot by Marlo Aquino. For his first two points in the game. Chris Alexander. Dalabas ni J.J. Helterband. Dito 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 ni Joseph Yeo. Alalahanin niya naka-all Filipino ngayon. Ito Santa Lucia. Lusot si Chris Alexander. 12 points so far for the Ginebra import. And the lead of Santa Lucia is down to 3. At 53 to 50. Marlo Aquino again challenging Alexander. Hands it up to Joseph. Whoa! Battle pass. And Kelly Williams playing above the rim. And he draws the foul. Chris Alexander will finally pick up his third personal foul. Yeah, I tell you what, Chris Alexander did not expect Gary Williams to do that uh, in the air. And that's why he picked up his third foul. And Williams trying to get the two points from the free throw line. Ganda rin ang ginawang play doon ni uh, ng Santa Lucia, Joseph Yeo. Yeah. Recognizing that Kelly Williams was on his way uh, to ride the elevator at uh, pinasa niya sa ere. And now with the two free throws by Kelly Williams, uh, the lead is back up to five of uh, Paraso Santa Lucia. Barangay Hinebra, nasa Obensa, J.J. Helterman, lalo ni Joseph Yeo. Mike Kaguwa against Denim Piranda at the baseline. Nabitin niya tira, Kelly Williams. What's the rebound out of there? And it is a Joseph Yeo. He now looks to the back of the slam. And a panic slam by Kelly Williams for his 11th point in the game. At the moment of the people of Santa Lucia. As you see this pass again by Joseph Yeo to Kelly Williams for the slam. And the seven point lead by the Warriors. Here in the third quarter, 57 to 50. We'll be right back.
it was two really rough games. We lost to our Red Bull going into the wild card phase, and I think we lost a little steam and a little bit of confidence. But we practiced hard. Coaches did a good job getting us prepared, uh, and, and the guys stayed focused and tried uh, their best play as a team. Matindi talaga ang dinara na nabutas ng karayo, mandinara ng Santa Lucia. Number 9 sila after the elimination round. Ngayon, naranito sila sa quarterfinals. Paul Artad is back to Parangay Hinebra and Mark Kajewa scores. Kaya alam mo, maraming magaganda nangyayari para sa Parangay Hinebra. Kapapasok lang ni Paul Artad. Yung mga ganun nangyayari kanina, di ba? And that's also coming off a timeout. You have Paul Artad setting up the play. Then if you have JJ Heltogan and Mark Kajewa on the wing, there's a lot of offense that pwede niyang pasahan. Brian Reyes hands it up to Marlo Aquino. Masyado malalim. Aguito. Mali naman yun. Sabi niya, masyado malalim. Dito ako sa malumag luwag. Eh, nininis pa ni Marlo yung ano niya. Kuko niya pagkatapos nun. Marlo, apparently, liking this challenge against Chris Alexander. Hindi ho naglaro yan ang entire first half. Hindi pinasok si Marlo Aquino. But now, talagang mauusok. Si Marlo Aquino has got four points. And all of this, the beauty of this, if you're a Santa Lucia fan, is your import is finally getting some rest. Yeah. At hindi nakakahabol naman itong Barangay Hinebra. So far, it's still a seven-point lead para sa Santa Lucia. Kagiwa gets open. Three-point shot is now good. Kelly Williams controls it over to Joseph Yo. Joseph Yo, yes. And at the box out there of Kelly Williams. Yes, he's got that athleticism. But first, you have to go with the basics. Binax out niya si Billy Mamaril. Kaya hindi nakakuha ng bola doon ng offensive rebound si Mamaril. Kaya ng Miranda, binalik yung naman kay Mario Aquino, palobong tira against Chris Alexander. Uy, hindi nang bumagsak. Hindi nang samahang bagsak nyo si Delok na yan. Yeah, I think that's Delok Miranda. Ayan mo, Terialis Portis yan. Ayos yan. No problem. Alright. 59-52 ang ating score. It's gonna be a jump ball situation. Yes, at midcourt. There's the tap by Kelly Williams to Ryan Reyes. Dana Piranda. Joseph Yo. They swing it over to Ryan Reyes. Back to Miranda. He can use the high move. Instead, Miranda launches it. And Ryan Reyes knocks it out of bounds. Four and a half minutes remaining. This is the third quarter. Lamang ng pito ang Santa Lucia Realty. Nagitagay ngayon, Ken Kakabsat, kita Northern Luzon, ng Bagbarabi, Aminapo. Okay, Garud, PBA. Paul Artani. Billy Bamaril. Help the band from Rhea! Wala! And Ryan Reyes comes down with the rebound. Bilingay to Dennis Miranda. Miranda. Reyes. Kenny Williams gets open for three. Wala! And Milo Aquino and Eric Bent fighting for the rebound. The loose ball foul. Natatawagin. And Eric Bent. Iba pa rin yung matangkat. Milo Aquino able to extend his arms. Siya yung mga big man ng Barangay Hinebra. Forced to push out Milo Aquino because of his excellent position. Babalik na si Lee Benson. Nakapagpahinga ito. He had the luxury of sitting it out for a few minutes. Ngayon naman si Chris Alexander. Ang uh, nasa bench para sa Barangay Ginebra. At then, tignan mo itong line ng uh, Santa Lucia. Pinagsabay si Marlo Aquino at saka si Lee Benson. That's right. Kasi wala dyan si Chris Alexander sa kapilang side. Gaya na nabanggit mo. Lari ito naman si Mike Kagiwa taking it inside. And drawing the foul, si Marlo ang umaamin. Aquino's first personal foul. Pinaalala natin muli, ano ha? Doon sa mga hindi po umabot sa ating first game between Magnolia and Coca-Cola. Nalalo puro na Magnolia, 108 to 96. At ang best player, Lordy Tugane, hindi pa hindi. 15 rebounds to go with 20 points. Pag playoffs na, you have to be able to contribute in every statistical area as you can. So, Madara, Mark Kagiwa, ha? Binawasan na naman ang lamang ng Santa Lucia Dada 6 at 59-53. Paolo Mendoza, may dala ng bola para sa Santa Lucia. Repito, ah, may timeout. 
Uh, mukhang may timeout na tinawag si uh, Coach Boya Fernandez ng Santa Lucia Realty. Ang ating score, 59-53. Lamang ang Santa Lucia over Barangay Hinebo by 6. Third quarter action. We'll be back shortly. Pero po ang Kuleta Astrodome dito sa Pasay City sa unang araw ng quarterfinal round and with Commissioner Sonny Barrios is Mr. Jake Santanera at ang kanyang anak na si Jeffrey, mga balikbayan po ito galing sa Anwai in Australia. Jake is a former teammate of the late uh, PBA Commissioner Jim Bernardino at classmate din na sa Ateneo ni uh, Commissioner Sonny Barrios. Welcome to the PBA. Good day, Mike. Mike, you went to bed uh, yesterday? <laughs> Joseph Yo, Binomba. What? He's a Binomba. Joseph Yo, he is able to hang in there for a long time. And what was even better with that shot? This kid at hang time, sir. Napalobo niya pa over the outstretched arms of Chris Alexander. Six points so far for Joseph Yo. JJ held her back to Mike to do a download to Chris Alexander. Alexander against Ben's, uh, Lee Benson. Yes. yes. Third quarter full tire, shade under three minutes remaining. Paolo Mendoza. Against JJ Helderbrand. At uh, sa uh, pagka-cat uh, and bounce nila, uh, sa sabi si uh, JJ Helderbrand, his second personal foul, 13 foul on Barangay Hilebra here in the third quarter. Joseph Yo naglabas ng bora, binigay kay Lee Benson. Kelly Williams. Paolo Mendoza against Helderbrand now. Mendoza goes up, fires. Sabi malakas. Loose ball. Taken away by Eric Mink. And it goes to Mike Kadiwa. Pinasa kay Helderbrand. And Ryan Reyes with another rebound. And Dami na rebound dito si Ryan Reyes. Pinabit niya kay Joseph Yo. And he's clipped in mid-air by Eric Mink. It's when the guards of Santa Lucia are able to rebound on one end. Ang bilis nilang gawing fast break opportunity because if you're a guard, if you can get a rebound, all you have to do is turn around and sprint down, dribbling the ball. At yun ang nangyari para dito sa Santa Lucia. Guys like Ryan Reyes are willing to rebound. Joseph Yo, Dennis Miranda. And when they get that rebound, it's uh, off to the racer. So, matala na ito ating buhay ko. Siya, panoorin niyo, ginawa nito ni uh, Joseph Yo. Ang ganda niya, yun yung binomba pa niya. Our Buhay Coke Shop brought to you by Coca-Cola. Lahat ng shots magaganda at walang katulad. Kaya ang Buhay Coke, buksan mo. Joseph Yo misses on the second try. He tries to take it away from Paul Artani. And the ball goes out of bounds in favor of Barangay Hinebra. Seven-point lead for Santa Lucia with that much time remaining in the third quarter. Paul Artani, bigla na bola para sa Barangay Hinebra. He picks it up. Dito ba si Kay Helter Brand to Kagiwa. Download to Chris Alexander against Lee Benson. Alexander, back in there. Nasa ilalim lang, barakas ang tira. Kelly Williams comes down with the rebound. Dito ba si Paolo Mendoza. Two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Paolo Mendoza to Joseph Yo. Joseph Yo to Lee Benson. Benson to Marabla against Chris Alexander. Dito ba si Kelly Williams. Williams drives through. Barangay kay Benson. Benson puts it up. Wala! And there's a loose ball foul, the rebound play. That's going to be an Eric Meng trying to box up Kelly Williams. But some uh, lost opportunities there. Para sa Santa Lucia, right in point, point blank range. With a minute and 45 to go. Dito sa ating third quarter. Kumusta po kayo, mga kapwa natin suki ng PBA. Ed Pixon po naman, kasama si Jason Webb at courtside here at the Pineta Astrodome. Paolo Mendoza, Lee Benson, kumang atras, tama kay Alexander, hinabol ni Alexander, pero pumasok na ng tira, para kay Lee Benson, and he now has 17 in the game. But his scoring has slowed down, para dito kay Lee Benson, but uh, his teammates have also picked it up for him, and uh, lead of uh, Santa Lucia starting to pick up to uh, gain the game. Oh, 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 oh. Akadiwa loses it to Ryan Reyes, and here's Joseph Yo. Hanging it high on the floor, but it's taken away by Mike Kagiwa. Paul Artado picks it up. Bumaling to si Ryan Reyes. Kagiwa inside. Nilabas kay Artado for the jump shot. Yes, that was Paul Artado. 
Ito na sabi natin eh. They like, uh, well, sometimes you are royalty. We'll give the jump rope to Paul Artani. You know, San Felicia, you look at their bench, very upset at the fast break a while ago of uh, Joseph Yo. And right now, they're going to get a technical foul. Ayun, may technical hit tinawag kay Coach Bell Fernandez dahil nagre-reklamo siya yung sa mga pangyayari. I probably thought there was a foul there somewhere. And uh, medyo naglalagot si Coach Bell Fernandez tinawag ng technical foul. So Mike Hagira is now at the line for the technical free throw. And Kagira makes it. At ito, nanonood pa na sa atin yung mga taga Los Padres de Santo Niño. Anniversary nila ngayon. It's their 48th anniversary. So happy anniversary kay Melchor, Pepe, at saka kay Habar and all the guys there. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Ani Mandamanga ng Santa Lucia of Barangay Ginebra. Paolo Mendoza. Here's Dennis Miranda. Joseph Yeo. They swing it over to Kelly Williams. She must suck some over against Alexander. I know it's a lead Benzino. They are playing like a solo to Kelly Williams. You know, when you drive to the basket and you're able to attract the defense, the weak side rebounder usually will not have a bantai jan, and that was Lee Benson. I can do a hazard. Chris Alexander. Lama kay Lee Benson, umaatras si Alexander. Buti kay kay Paul Artani against Gerald Peranga. <laughs> nice uh, expedition there, fishing expedition by Paul Artani, keeping his wits about him. At nakakuha ng uh, foul kay Gerald Peranga, his second personal. At nasa penalty na itong uh, Santa Lucia Realty. They're up by 8 at 66-58, but Paul Artani is at the line. the first. Now you see Coach Shibai Fernandez. Uh, they're just trying to uh, cool down <laughs> after being slapped uh, with a uh, technical and uh, assistant coach Adonis Tierra uh, comparing with him. So you know, Ginebra has had uh, has had has stolen a couple of quarters already and if they finish yeah. again they have finished again strong in this quarter Santa Lucia owned this quarter oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, well, the he's got eight points in the game and this is what we were, what we were saying stealing the quarter and Kevin Williams trying to score at the buzzer but it's not to be. But in the last, you're not going to be going on. Oh, still in the quarter. Back in the second quarter, they were down by as many as 13 points. They were able to bring it down for a more manageable five. That was deeper than the third quarter. They were able to bring it down to the Santa Lucia. But they were able to bring it down to four. They were able to score at the end of the third. 66 Santa Lucia, 62 Barangay Ginebra. We're going to go back to the fourth quarter. We're going to go back to the fourth quarter in a moment. Alright, balik po tayo rito sa Cuneta Astrodome sa Pasay City at wala po natitinag sa mahigit siyam na libong tao na nagsidagsaan dito sa Cuneta Astrodome as you look at Coach John Uchiko exhorting his players as they're able to pull down that lead to only 4 points at 66 to 62 the closest that they were able to get actually in this game was a tie or a deadlock at 44, 46, and 48. Kaya po yung dalawang uh, magbarkada. Ang report ka ni Marga kanina, magkasama sila sa training for professional basketball, tapos sa Korea, magkasama rin sila na matagal. Uh, pati dito, alam natin, pag uh, medyo nag-happy-happy, magkasama rin yung dalawa. No, maraming araw nakakakita dyan. Ikaw natin na ba? <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no comment. Ba't ka nandun? Lee Benson. Ito. Barangay Ginebra on the attack. They're down by only four now. Kagiwa! Yeah! You know, Ed, right now, you feel the momentum swing. Momentum all of a sudden is with Barangay Ginebra because of the way they close the third quarter. And here it is. 
the one thing na ayaw mangyari ng Santa Lucia, the crowd is starting to get involved. Nagsisigawa na po ng Ginebra Ginebra. Joseph Yo, de la Basque. Foul and well, offensive foul. Uh, Joseph Yo wasn't able to check his momentum. Offensive foul, Joseph Yo. Joseph Yo, Joseph Yo. Kapas muli si Ryan Reyes para kay Denok Miranda. Alam mo, yung sinabi ni Coach Boyd Fernandez, sinaamin niya na medyo pagod physically yung kanyang uh, kupunan. Pero sabi niya, mentally, ready, ready ka ba. Eric Reyes, pakibalitahan mo naman kami. Ulit ang sinabi ni Coach John, is really a big adjustment to think of you. Kasi sinasabi niya niya, ito si Chris Alexander ng ating nahihirapan, lalo na pag uh, humihel si Chris Alexander ng libre si Benson sa ilalim. Kaya sabi niya, you just have to stick to your man. Hindi sila dapat makalusot para hindi na kailangan mo si Chris Alexander. Ed? Well, nakalusot po si Chris Alexander to tie up the game once again at 66. So, para ito si Paolo Mendoza, it pulls up. Dilabas kay Colo Wolo, Petro, Malakas. Close, mapunta ba Paul Artano to the front court. Pagawa pa si Colo Williams. Change to the ball by Artano. He's blocked by Colo Williams. The picks up the loss will out to Joseph Yeo. Three and two. Here's Benson. Dinalik to Joseph Yeo. Joseph Yeo inside. Benson up and he's close. Oh, what heart by Joseph Yeo. He was right in front again of Chris Alexander. Ito mga Santa Lucia, Chris Alexander averages three blocks a ball game. That, that's number one in the league. But they have no, they have shown no fear in this game. Chris Alexander, double team. Magahanap ko pa po sa hand, hindi siya kay Artadi! Ang nangyari! Hey! Three-point shot! Double Artadi! Three and plus! Ano na lang nangyari sa mundo? <laughs> and Hinebra takes the lead for the first time in this game by a three-point shot by Paul Artani. Joseph Yu is open for three as well. This is it. Alexander Pettis a rebound. And Paul Artani signals the play para sa Barangay Hinebra. Sunday Salvation comes out. Hindi ba katira binigay kay Chris Alexander against Benson? Alexander. Paul Artani win! And Alexander with the offensive ball. Yay! Scott hit by Chris Alexander. And the lead puts him. He scores with a foul. And Barangay Hinebra with a big surge here in the fourth quarter to take the lead at 71-68. Right here, offensive rebounding. Chris Alexander finally gets the position that he wants on his strong side. Right-handed jump hook with a foul to boot. Santa Lucia and everybody else needs this timeout. Okay, mga kaibigan, balik po tayo dito sa kapalapalabik na laro ng Barangay Hinebra at ng Santa Lucia. Paul Artani coming up to bench once again para tulungan ang kanyang kapunan. And look at here. Can you believe this? Paul Artani with a three-point shot to put Maranga Hinebra on top. Hatid sa inyo yan, a bagong TM Discarte sim. 30 pesos lang, may bagong Discarte ka na. Ayan ang mga numero kay Paul Artani ngayon, ano ha? And he has really energized his team. 11 points, of course, what you would expect from him is a lot of assists or a lot of pressure, ball pressure. Kumabibigyan ka ni Paul Artadi ng 11 points. Coach John Wichico will, that will put a smile on his face. At saka, crucial eh. Alright. Chris Alexander for the uh, three-point play. Completes it. The lead of Barangay Hinebra is four. Remember, hindi ko nakatikim ng damanga ang Barangay Hinebra the first three quarters of this game. Ngayon lang sila nakalabang dito sa fourth period. Benson inside. Yes. Very determined move there by Lee Benson. Well, he's had it all night. This is Lee Benson. What can they make a matchup with like Chris Alexander? Right? They're really bringing out the best of each other. Wait. Bad pass results in a turnover. 
Joseph Yeo, the Kelly Williams. Patrick is Ryan Andreas. Benson. Get out of Mr. Sikris Alexander. He takes it inside on the floor. Benson follows it up. And Tatiana Levantado. Igual es el E. 72 to this. 8 minutes and 23 seconds to go in the ball game. And this will be our fifth deadlock of the game. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. It is the shirt of choice for the power dresses. Van Heusen dresses of the modern man endowed with distinction and a clear cut sense of style. Van Heusen, the best dresser. And Kavila puts it up. Traveling. Fouled on him. I referee Maurillo. Kavila forcing the action that time and uh, Ryan Reyes able to draw that uh, turnover. Maigi po lang minuto po man, RRB, dito sa lapang ito, tabla tayo of 72, Detroit and Milan. He's doing well para sa Santa Lucia in this game. He's got a total of 17 points currently. At least, iba rin yung sagot na Santa Lucia. Nung lumamang itong Barangay Ginebra, and uh, right now, ito Santa Lucia on a 6-0 run para makakuha ulit yung kalamangan. All right, Kavira trying to wiggle away from... Ryan Reyes, but it's Reyes called for his fourth. An apathon on Ryan Reyes. And he's uh, a bit exasperated. Uh, still, that was that. Yung palang tira kaninang uh, three points ni Artadi was his first with Barangay Hinebra and his first over the last two seasons. Dalawang taon na palang hindi tumitira ng uh, three-point shot. What a time for it to go. Murphy! Just talking about the TMTS, fires up Juti Valenzuela, and he puts Barangay Hinebra back on top at 75-74. Great to have that basket to Paul Arnadi. He set up Juti Valenzuela with that pass. Here's Lee Benson. Going one-on-one -on -one against Chris Alexander. Hey, he steps on the baseline. Seven minutes and 13 seconds to go. One point lead para sa Barangay Ginebra. Paul Arnadi, Elderman, against Joseph Yo. Junti Valenzuela puts it up from top of the key. Alexander, hello! Alexander gets it back, he puts it down. That's a pick, but I'm not pulling to Junti Valenzuela. Here's Paul Arnadi taking it inside. What up? Lee Benson says enough. And uh, they were good looks. Yeah. They just couldn't get the ball down. 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 Kelly Williams. To Ryan Reyes. Here's Benson. The shot clock rising down. Three seconds on the shot clock. Traveling! Yeah. Now we're going to hack bang. Right, a couple of substitutions here. Ryan Reyes is pulled out. He has four personals. Derek Miranda is back. Eric Menk for the Barangay Hinebra side. As reported back to duty. JJ Halterband. You need to get up on any Joseph Yo. Gets a pick from Eric Menk. Halterband for him. Finds an opening. Patlon, Lamang ng Barangay Hinebra, as J.J. Helderbrand has now picked up a score. He's got nine points in the game. It's just realization for J.J. Helderbrand. What is the defense doing when I'm doing my pick and roll? The moment dumaan sa ilalim yung Helderbrand, yun, umatake na, tumira si J.J. A steal! And a foul. Given up by Joseph Lowe. That's number three on Joseph Yo. Holy number 18, Joseph Yo. Well, just the same way that Santa Lucia had an answer nung lumamang ang Barangay Hinebra Hinebra doing the same thing Hinebra was down 74 to 72 and now they're in the crest of a 5 to 0 run 
They go to Chris Alexander once again. Tinitikin na pa rin sila ni Benson. Maatras si Alexander. Natapukan ni Benson. Pero Paal is going to be fouled on Lee Benson. Who obviously does not agree. That's number four on the Santa Lucia Airport. Willie Wilson is coming in for Eric Mink. Ryan Reyes for Joseph Yo. 14 of the shot clock for Barangay Hinebra on this play. Hufflebrand, Alexander. Get up a skate. Juti Valenzuela is hitting. Miranda recovers it para sa Santa Lucia. They're down by three. Miranda. Ryan Reyes. And Miranda decides to set up the play. Miranda was Ryan Reyes. And he's a little match of Dua. Ryan Reyes for end. Asked for the pick from Kelly Williams. Goes the other way. Gets it back to Kelly Williams. Williams over Wilson. And, well, Kelly Williams had a hand on it. But he didn't have a throw the ball. Here comes J.J. Hunter, man. Looks like he's coming through. Managed only two points in the first half. And that is in this new uh, JJ Held in the first half. Now he has a total of 11 points. And a lot of those points coming in crucial moments of the game. Sakasa Lugrian, he has given Branca Hinebra the biggest lead in the entire game. Tabangin ko namin kanina, yung first half, yung ginakalabang, yung barangay Ginebra. Pero ito, yung galaw ni J.J. Helfand, our fearless move of the game, brought to you by No Fear Underwear. At the balls for it. Itakita nyo naman, ano, sinugit ni J.J. Helfand ang depensa ng Santa Lucia Realty. At nabangit nga natin, hindi po lumamang ang barangay Ginebra back in the first half. Now, they're up by five in the crucial moments. Lima minuto na lang, Adela Rabi. Here's Ryan Reyes. Dara Piranda. Woo! Atsha! Barangay Hinebra. And Mike Kagira distracting Lee Benson there. And Benson is getting upset. Four forty-eight to go. Eh, to mahigit na tayo, Mike Kagiwa, going for that ball. Yeah. At sa yun, pinarahul ng siya. Tutulungan dapat ni Alexander si Benson. Sabi ni Mike. Yeah. Here's Mike Kagiwa. Led by Derek Miranda. Kagiwa! I'll tell you what, right now, Santa Lucia getting really upset. At pinitigan pa rin ng masama ni Lee Benson si Mark Kagiwa. But if you look at the team foul situation, five for Santa Lucia already in the penalty. Barangay Hinebra, clean slate with over seven minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Oh, wow. Walang kapawal pa ng Barangay Hinebra. Kagiwa makes the first free throw. Second is also good by Mike Kagiwa. He's got 24 points. Para sa Barangay Hinebra. The defense of Barangay Hinebra really clamping down in this quarter. Only allowing the Realtors 8 points in the fourth. Ryan Reyes. Ito umalanda. Here's Janet Miranda. They go to Lee Benson once again. Six on the shot clock. Benson, one-hander. Tala. Alexander, that is a rebound. You don't belong with the Ryan Reyes, but Alexander controls it. Third ten to go. Seven point lead, Barangay Hinebra. Junti Valenzuela. She walks out. Down the middle. Junti Valenzuela. Good basket. And uh, Coach Boy Fernandez has seen it up. It is now a nine-point lead for Barangay Hinebra with four minutes remaining. We'll take a short break. All right, mga kaibigan, ang mausok po ang Barangay Hinebra as we look at our top power, top players. 
Out of good defending is Steve Thomas, Chris Alexander, Helper Brand, Ryan Reyes on steals, and Alexander also on shot clock. Our Top Power Top Players is brought to you by Top Power Energy Drink. Top Power Energy. Mga paigagabi ka sang kayan, Pinahar Region 8, kumusta ka mga tananda? Tara rito po sa Kuleta Ask You Dome sa Pasay City, kasama itong mga suki natin at mga nagagandahang dilag. Ba, Wadi Santos, ayan. Tara rito sa Kuleta, nakita niyo yung tao rito. <laughs> Grabe. Ayan po ang ating gate attendance ngayon, no? over 9,000. Eh, kasama kami, mga 10,000 niya. <laughs> At dito sa Cuneta, alam ko, capacity nito is only 10,000. That's right. Kaya, siksikan po rito ngayon. Eh, some of the uh, seats uh, that are available, yun yung nanggaling sa first game natin. Kung saan ng uh, Magnolia was able to beat Coca-Cola. So, 1-0 doon. That's right. Remember, best of three here in the quarterfinals. Ryan Reyes. Dennis Espino comes back after the long rest on the bench and draws the foul from Eric Mink. Now they're going to get called for that technical foul dahil pagka pito na pagka pito the entire Santa Lucia team started to uh, clap at the uh, call of the referee. As the assistant coach Cholo Martinez is going to check the foul, Mark Aguila makes good on the free throw. Well, the reaction of Santa Lucia was is a panandao ngayon lang nakatawagan ng foul yung barangay Hinebra dito sa quarter na ito. I remember that uh, first foul came at uh, past the seven minute mark or uh, or uh, eight minutes into the quarter. That's why sila pakiramdam nila. Matagalan ng konti yung uh -huh. foul ng ano, Hinebra. Here's Kelly Williams. Double team. And a foul is going to be called. And again, the applause from the <laughs> Santa Lucia bench. Shot clock at 14 seconds. Benson. Ryan Reyes. And off to Kelly Williams. Williams top of the key. Yes! Yeah. Ah, long two lang yun. Para kay Kelly Williams. It is 84-76. Eight point lead. Para sa Barangay Hinebra. 3 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. You know, the base slowed down, but in no way is Barangay, is Barangay Hinebra out of the woods yet. It's only an 8 point lead at this point. Now for that, this is... Kelly Williams with the rebound. That is Ryan Reyes into the front court. Kelly Williams, he has a little bit of the J.J. Hunt for Brown. He lets it fly. Voila. Loose ball picked up by Ryan Reyes. And the long left pass to Kelly Williams. Ah, thank you so much. Another Chris Alexander. See what I'm talking about. Yes, Chris Alexander picks up his fourth personal foul. Ito yung nabanggit ko sa'yo kanina. Alexander picked up two quick fouls in the game, maybe about six minutes in the first quarter. But look what he's done to preserve his fouls. Yeah. Two minutes and 58 seconds to go. Kailan niya lang nakakuha yung pang-apat niya? Actually, nauna pa nga si D. Benson na makakuha ng fourth personal. Eh. Meanwhile, Kelly Williams at the line. And he cuts the lead somewhat to seven. 2.58 to go. 14 points for Kelly Williams so far. Malakas yata. Didn't get the bounce. Eric Mank for the rebound. Ano nga si Buena Pumiranda? Sinusundan ni Pidoy Olon. Help the ground pa rin. Out to Kagiwa. Kagiwa against the Olon. Malakas up si Kagiwa! Uh, there's going to be a foul. Looks like Ryan Reyes will be called for that. Well, that was a nice matchup uh, with uh, Brian Reyes and uh, Mark Kagiwa. You know, Mark Kagiwa has a ton of moves. But to see Ryan Reyes, uh, was able to stick with him, but at the last second, had to give up that foul. You can see right here, mano a mano, Ryan Reyes against Mark Kagiwa. Pinapahirapan ni Ryan Reyes. Mark Kagiwa leaves him behind with his crossover. 
Foul called by Ryan Reyes. Natawagan pa ng foul dun si Ryan Reyes. Mahabol na yun sa Ibabaw. May have uh, got him in the body. Oops. 85-77. Eight point lead uh, para sa Barangay Hinebra. One or two by Mike Tagiwa. Kevin Williams gets up and runs again. Yes! Another two point shot there by Kevin Williams. And he cuts the lead down to six. Two minutes and 18 seconds to go. Sabi mo nga, no, ha? Hindi pa nakakasiguro ang uh, Barangay Hinebro dito, Helferbrand. Sabi kay Omolon. So, fans are dribbling here by Helferbrand. He gets away from Omolon. A little ahead of his net ball. But it lies in the hands of Juppie Valenzuela. But the shot clock goes, uh, goes on. And here's Kelly Williams as we go to the outlast two minutes. At the end the outlast maintenance free batteries start the gun. But outlast batteries. Eric Wink called for the foul. And it is Kelly Williams at the line. They're down by only six points. A minute and 55 to go. Kaya wala ho maalis sa kanilang mga upuan dito sa Coneta Ask You Home. Ayan, di ba na lang. You notice at some point, both teams started to become flat, but Santa Lucia yeah. is the one that's taking advantage of that. Tenebra still unable to uh, recover from that point. Kumabot na sampuan naman ng uh, Barangay Hinebra in this quarter. Dahil hindi nga naman naman itong Barangay Hinebra in the first three quarters, no? It was uh, all an all Santa Lucia show in the uh, first uh, 36 minutes of this game. But uh, Barangay Hinebra caught fire. In the fourth period, led by as many as 10 points at 84-74. Ngayon, uh, ito naman ng Santa Lucia, ang uh, Romano Chaga. Who's the one of six man? That's the question. Uh, if you look at the numbers, it's a mismatch for uh -huh. tonight. Joseph Yo, he's done a great job. He has nine points and three rebounds and three assists, but no doubter, Mark Agiwa can score 26 points and he's added seven rebounds to go along with two assists. Well, nabanggit natin sa umpisa ng coverage, Jason, ano, si uh, Joseph Yo uh, is considered as the uh, wild card hero para sa Santa Lucia Realty. You know, the Yeoman's, Yeoman's job, ah, uh, Joseph Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Nung uh, two games that they had against Alaska and, uh, and, uh, and uh, talking text. But, uh, here, uh, he also made some very crucial uh, points. Not, not as many as Mike Kadiwa, but uh, very important baskets as well. Para kay Joseph Yo. Helter Graham in the paint, blocked by Omolon. That's a good job of Nelbert Omolon of not giving up on that play. Na iwan siya ni Mark ni uh, JJ Helter Graham, pero humabul pa rin siya. That's why he got that block. 148 to go. Junti Valenzuela against Kelly Williams. The man of the mind, Kagiwa. This is Ryan Reyes. Kagiwa for the end. Crouching low. Jumper by Kagiwa. Ryan Reyes with another rebound. Into the front court. She has a little bit of Junti Valenzuela. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch on Valenzuela. So it's referee Aldaba. Kinetic foul on Kelly Williams. Kelly Williams has got seven points. Eight points for Kelly Williams. 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 Benson, Kelly Williams, walang mapuntahan na, the pass back to Omolon, Benson with 10 seconds on the shot, not five to three, and that will go out of bounds. Uh, that is not a good shot yeah. from Lee Benson, 10 seconds to go, yeah. and uh, they just needed a two-pointer to make it a one-possession ball game, marami pang oras yun. Medyo nagmadali, si uh, Lee Benson. One minute and ten seconds to go. Four point lead para sa Barangay Hinebra. Nasa kanina pa ang ball on J.J. Helferbrand. Slowing it down. We've got the luxury of time. Helferbrand for that against Pomeron. Junti Valenzuela is up. Tia Cruz. Hing kampagyan sa sumpo. Junti Valenzuela. With a big, big three point basket. With 57 seconds to go to put Barangay Hinebra up by 7, 88-81. We have a timeout.
<laughs> hindi na po kami nagsalita. Hindi nyo rin naman kami maririnig. <laughs> sa lakas ng sigawan ng mga fans ng Barangay Hinebra. As uh, the team uh, gets out of the doldrums. Ito mga record na nila sa Cuneta Astrodome. Ito napakalaki. Ha? Yung sa Santa Lucia, they are 0 and 4 so far this conference. Unable to win in the Astrodome and looks like huh? if they don't get the... Uh, a couple of points together magiging 0 and 5 yan medyo sa mga matamahi yun eh <laughs> matindi yan Kelly Williams fires yes 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 by Kelly Williams of a crowded situation and the lead is down to 4 two reasons why that's a big shot it's a 3 pointer the other konti lang ang naubos na oras doon dito sa game talak <laughs> alam mo may mga tao na palabas eh nahinto bigla eh Nabara dun sa labasan. Here's Mark Kagua against the Malon. Foul upon the Malon. Tandima kay Bitoy Omolon. 33 seconds to go. Two shots for Mark Kagua. They're up by four. Dolores Dolores. Dolores has been set in by Coach John Uchiko para kay Junti Valenzuela. And lalong-lalo na para kay Kelly Williams to make sure that Kelly Williams doesn't score again. Ano siya? Ano ang doon yung Michael Giwa? Hindi ko alam eh. 43 seconds to go. Six-point lead by Barangay Ginebra. At uh, ayan ang ating uh, game story, no? Katlong hari, magkahari, eh, mayayari. Chris Alexander, si uh, Mark Aguiwa, and JJ Helter Dan, na dito naman sa kabila sa uh, uh, Wilders, Kelly Williams, Lee Benson, at si Joseph Yo. At ang mga hari, uh, mga naghahari para sa dalawang kuponan na They beat the Wilders in 10 of their last 12 meetings dating back to the 2005-2006 Fiesta Conference. Contrapelo. Actually, in this conference, they split their first two games, or rather their elimination games. Santa Lucia taking the first round while Barangay Ginebra taking the second round. Nakita ko ninyo yung crowd ko. Paragay ko, hindi nyo na kailangan hulaan kung kanino sila. Williams from way out. Yes! Pasitin na naman! And it's down to a three-point lead with half a minute to go. Ayun na naman. Bali ka na naman yung mga tao palabas. Alam mo talaga, sabi nila, kala namin tapos na. Hindi pa. Ayaw pa ni Kelly Williams eh. Coach John Uchiko is complaining about something. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he's not complaining if Williams' was foot was on the line because he was way past ayaw, the, ayaw. the line of that three-point shot. And layo nun. Kaya pati si Willie Wilson, hindi niya alam kung anong gagawin kay Kelly Williams. Napakalayo na to. But you know, he's got the hot hand. Kelly Williams already with a total of uh, 24 points. And he's got 11, or rather 13 in this quarter. Ako, okay, medyo merong uh, miscommunication dito. Pinatatawag na ng mga referee, mga players sa loob ng uh, court. Meron ba itong timeout? I think Barangay Hinebra. Ah, 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. 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 And uh, Jinti Valenzuela has been sent back in para kay Willie Wilson uh, on the part of Barangay Hinebra. Okay. Well, they're going to challenge a three-point shot. I don't know which three-point shot they're going to challenge. Ah, may sila challenge ang uh, Hinebra? Well, I'm not really sure, uh, Ed, kung uh, sinong side na humingi ng challenge. But I'm sure it's not that last three-point shot of Williams. <laughs> well, I thought it was uh, far enough. But I thought it was not that. I tell you what, they didn't need a TV to figure out if that was a three-point shot or not. Three-point basket made by Kelly Williams is still a three-point shot. 
That's why it, it was probably the fastest challenge that I ever saw. Ang napakadali. Oo. Layo talaga. Junti Venezuela has scored eight points in this period. He's back. Inbounding. Chris Alexander. Okay, may timeout. Well, you know, right there, sinasabi ng mga coaches, Chris, meron tayong ball-hugging violation mm. dito. Hindi mo pwede hawakan lang yan. Muntik silang uh, magkaroon doon ng turnover. And that's, that's why right. the coaching staff had to themselves call. had to call that timeout. That's right. Okay, uh, we'll take a short break. Go back to ABC5. All right, mga kaibigan, uh, Kelly Williams, of course, has won the... Uh, a uh, best player, and uh, now he is leading the race for the MVP at uh, 2008 Slam Dunk Champion as well. Champion din yung kanyang ginawang kapapakasal. So sabi nga natin, ano, he is leading the MVP race, but can he sustain uh, the points that he has been piling up? Arwin Santos is there, waiting in the semifinal round. Willie Miller, well, Malala Sila, J.J. Heltoban, uh, Kobe Raimundo rounding up the uh, top five in our uh, race for the MVP. No, Ed, at this point, Santa Lucia, no need to foul. He never has to be aware of that. Get away from the corners in the trapping areas kasi baka dun sila matrap ng Santa Lucia, kaya nang nangyari kanina. That's right. That was Junti Venezuela naglabas ng bola. Looking around for a receiver. He finds J.J. Helterband. There's a double team on him. Helterband. Uh, Gonna pass it Junti. Junti in the midcourt area. Junti Venez. And tied to Eric Mack. Out to Helterband. Helterband. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Tap out the timeout to J.J. Helterband. Uh, malaki. Nino tapos na oras. Ano? So game clock. And a future on the line. Twelve seconds. Uh, Paragay Hinebra still up by 3, 90, 87. And we go back to ABC5. All right, uh, this is the uh, crucial moments going into the last 12 seconds. Yan po ang uh, ating score. Lamang ang hinebra ng tatlo sa kanilang bola. Pahing gabi niya sa Kagayanda Oro, Governor Oscar Moreno. Producer board member, Loy Mugot. Pahing gabi ka ninyo yung taranda. Diha sa Misamis Oriental. Labi ang sinyo yung inasal. Uy, yung tinuguan. Oscar Moreno. All right, 12 seconds to go. That's a barangay here, Brambola. Laman sila. Junti Balasana fires! Wala. He gets it back. Mike Aguila is fouled by Kelly Williams to stop the clock at five seconds. Wala ba sa kundong, hindi pa nila na ako ng rebound, you know, ha? Well, so much energy was consumed by trying to trap itong barangay in Hebra when they finally got the shot. The one thing they forgot was to box out because the same guy that took the shot siya rin nakuha ng offensive rebound. Well, normally, yung mga mga long shot, ano ha? Pag hindi pumasok yan, malamang babalik talaga sa ito. And Mark Hagiwa has two more shots from the free throw line. Ray Cambio makes the first free throw. Smooth na smooth. Ayun, you know? huh? Ano ito? Kamag-anak mo ito, ha? Hahaha 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 Ah, uh, sa so, uh, base, okay. It looks okay. So, siguro medyo frustrated lang, ano, sa nangyari. Dahil sa, well, mulamang sila for uh, three quarters. 
Pero inaagaw sa kanila ng Barangay Hinebwa here in the court. But when the final score, Barangay Hinebwa takes the one to nothing lead in their best of three series here against Santa Lucia in the third quarter. And I think gateway game turning point is coming up. Ito, uh, lamang na rito ang Barangay Hinebwa pero humahabol ang Santa Lucia. This is a backbreaker here by Junti Valenzuela. Our Gatorade Game Turning Point brought to you by Gatorade. Is it in you? 12-0 yun na inupisahan ni uh, Junti Valenzuela. And our best player of the game, Jason. Uh, it has to be Mark Tagiwa. In the fourth quarter, Mark Tagiwa really took over and uh, he had about he had 10 points in that fourth quarter. At ito si Mark Tagiwa. Nagsabi nga natin kanina, naghahanap sila ng pwedeng mag-ambag doon sa puntos na nawala ni Ronald Tubit. Mark Tagiwa, he's the guy that likes to shoot. Oh yeah, he provided those numbers. And uh, it gets interesting. Magnolia, only a one over Coca-Cola. 108.96. Labang po Magnolia sa sering yun. That will do in the second game on Wednesday. First game, Santa Lucia versus Barangay Hinebra. Pahigpit po na pahigpit ang labanan. At uh, yung labang po yun sa Inari Center House, so Antipolo City. Uh, ngayong Miyerkules. Sa kala po ni Jason Robles, sa lahat sa amin sa ABC5 at sa PBA, ito po yung lingkod. Ed Pixon po naman. Dama ko salamat. Hey, Good night. See you around.